I've previously shared my interest in insects in my last random video, where I reviewed the orchid and dead leaf mantids from the Takaratomi primary color mimetic insects line, which features insects using mimicry and about one-to-one -one scale. There are actually two more insects from this line that I've just acquired, and they share a common motif, green leaves. I forgot to mention the last time that this line comes as a Gashapon capsule toy, though toy is an understatement. There's this plastic egg that contains the parts. There's some simple assembly involved, as I'll show you now. Thankfully, as an arthropod, which is segmented anyway, the joint lines are not at all an issue. So here we have completed the third and final mantis from the line. Corradodis is a genus of mantid that are generally called shield or hooded mantises, which follow the same idea, a laterally expanded thorax that mimics a leaf. Today we're looking at what the Karatomi calls Corradodis rhombifolia, which is found in Mexico and Peru. Though I think from the thorax, it seems to be more like stellae, which is also found in Peru. Entomology experts, please advise. Now this is 8 centimeters or 3.2 inches long. Like all insects in this line, it's about 1 to 1 scale. If this is indeed Corradodis stellae, then that could get up to 8.5 centimeters or 3.3 inches long. The thing that really strikes you is how evolved this mimicry is in what it's trying to achieve. The lateral expansion and a flattening of the thorax and a folding of the wings really sell it. But I think that the insect form also helps make it easier. For example, the veins and the wings. the segmented structure. And even the thin legs look like little stalks. The color is also realistic, not just a uniform green, but fades here and there. Just as you'd see in a real leaf. Sitting so obviously on the table, it's hard to even realize you have an insect and not some stray leaf there. On the flip side, here you see white spots that break up the green of the thorax and black markings to break up the forelegs, which are of course the business end of this insect. The eyes are once again beautifully done. You can really appreciate the modifications to the thorax and the wings, and wonder at the marvellous flexibility of chitin. It's impressive how realistic this model is to the real thing. Again, this mantis comes with this stand. There's also a pair of antenna, which I'll glue on once I find a permanent place for all these insects. The second is the last insect in this amazing line, the giant Malaysian leaf insect, Philium giganteum. Now, Philium was an older name, as the subgenus Pulcrifilium is now recognized as distinct from Philium, so it should really more accurately be called Pulcrifilium giganteum instead. Now, these can reach up to 10.5 centimeters or 4.1 inches, which is almost exactly the case here. So it's a big insect, as you can appreciate at this one-to-one -one scale. The leaf insects really take mimicry to a whole new level. As you can see, they can take on the appearance not just of the leaf, complete with midrib and veins, but evidence of rot as well. And while this looks like a healthy, waxy leaf, 
this looks wet, limp, and not long for this earth. And once again, the form of the insect really benefits the mimicry, as you can see the way the legs are almost natural for midribs. And the shared veins. Chitin really is a pretty amazing polymer. As the name suggests, it comes from Malaysia. But good luck trying to locate one, because as real as this looks, trying to see one is like trying to locate a single tree in a forest, only exponentially harder. So let's bring out the other two. And now here we have the complete lineup from the Takara Tomi Primary Colors Mimetic Insects line. Really just such a lovely set to have, all life-size, so it gives you a really special feeling of something truly alive. The three leaves gives you an idea of the possible variations on the same theme, and as for the flower, I wish they'd do more flower mimics for the line. Perhaps a stick insect, one of the smaller varieties of course, to complete the set, but I guess that would be way too long to fit into a capsule. The sculpt and the coloration effected at such a small scale and squeezed into a capsule like some cheap gashapon toy, which seems almost oxymoronic. Right, that's it for this random video. Have a good week, and I'll see you soon with a dinosaur or a dragon.